Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video, we're going to be looking at the Warder Ultima Spear team in 2019 as they had no update to this team in forever, dude. The last update to this team was Vayne. I was originally going to bring Vayne, but whenever I do a run without cap defense down, it does trigger me a little bit. So we're going back to Minami. Yes, we, we've taken an SR in the team because there's no other option. Uh, I brought Anne because Anne's my favorite. So to be honest, she kind of inspired this video again because I really wanted to play with her and I haven't played with her in a while. And we got Mr. Mustache over there, Uno, with his nice golden mustache, a relevant character now. I know, it feels so, it's so <laughs> I remember when Water was defined by Uno and then it just kept guttering him and nerfing him like his counter abilities that have been really nerfed are neutered in harder content where you really want to bring Uno because of his skill three and Uno just over time it's been you know falling out of the meta unfortunately you know it just the way of a gacha game where units come and go in terms of power and stability you know so it's always good to go back and look at the old school stuff, you know, back when we used to praise Uno as the one, the Lord, the savior of water. But now water, water had the new savior, a, a dog, two dogs, four dogs, technically, and, and a dragon. Cool. Water. <laughs> um, but hey, we're looking at water spear team. One thing I will note is that I am going, uh, to be honest, I was trying to look at another class to bring, but I went with Sage. Uh, we're taking on Colossus high level. I thought about doing Shiva, but then I was like, uh, the damage is probably not high enough, and I don't play like being here for like 10 minutes. So, hey, let's begin. So we're taking on Colossus high level, and if, if you guys haven't known, there really hasn't been really any content update in terms of Grand Blue, really, in a while. That's why I've been looking at all these old teams and stuff like that, you know? I think it's a good time to just relax and chill. I've actually been picking up other games so now. I've been playing uh, Trials of Cold Steel. I just started that like a day ago. So right now is a good time to just enjoy yourself and to chill before the grind comes. Cause what we have Rise of the Beast in like a day, I think, or something like that. And then we have, um, and then we have GW right after. And you know, that's going to be a fun time. Everybody, everybody loves GW, right? I actually don't remember what, what Minami does, right? Wait, I think her skill two is... Wait, one of them is water attack up, right? Last remembered? His first skill is water attack up, I think. Charm? All right. It's been a while since you me. Yeah, yeah. Water attack up. Well, because we're running double primal, you know, the water attack up is actually very valuable here. Wow, that did a lot of damage, holy crap. Oh, I must have skill damage on the weapon. That did a lot more than I expected. Uh, eh, that's okay damage. I want to call it the greatest. We did get hyped though. Wow, I'm seeing my luck right now. Well, you know, if, you know what the difference is that I don't have folia. That's probably why. I'm so used to running folia now that I expect everything to be like folia damage. <laughs> I think this gets a attack boost right now. To be honest, damage not that bad. Yeah, so we okay autos. I think that's about okay enough, right? Then we get the crit buff from this. But yeah, Folia, Folia is a whole nother monster in terms of changing up water now. Like, I, it's so, like, man, bro. See, this, um, like, first of all, the reason I bring Folia here is because, one, I can't do anything in terms of defense down. But she kind of conflicts with Uno. Like, both of them giving shield is kind of, I don't know, it feels wrong. It feels wasted. Not to mention her shield is, I think it's stronger than Uno's, no? I think her shield is 2k, Uno is 1.5. I haven't used Uno in a while. Man, it feels so weird saying that. I haven't used Uno in a while. So I don't remember how much the shield is. Or maybe it's 2k on shield for Uno. Let's check here. That's a, that's a big OB. All right, I have two balls, right? So I guess that's normal. Okay, yeah, it's 2k for Uno too. So I guess they're both 2k. So his, his OB was pretty much nullified. Foldy, I guess. But I don't know. Is that really worth it, though? I gotta try them out. I haven't really used Foldia outside of a staff team and the uh, Kenko team. 
Because that actually she works the best in my opinion, right? Uh, we gonna throw a water bunker here. We actually don't need it, but might as well, right? Doesn't hurt. I kind of want the counter, but I don't think it's gonna let me counter it. Right? Oh, you know what? Let's save that. We don't. We don't need to hit the fence down again. We're in the multi attack yeah, bro. Double trap, triple. Oh! Oh my God, messed up. Okay. Uh, no more saying that. That never happened. <laughs> yeah, that never happened, right, guys? <laughs> Yo, he got beat up. <laughs> oh, you're probably wondering why I brought the gamble fist. I brought the gamble fist because uh, it's just the stuff I used to run back in the day. I don't know if it's still a good weapon, to be honest, in 2019. Um, if you guys haven't noticed in this game, it's been really been a problem in terms of keeping your pool not like in trouble. Like, I feel like pool space has been such a problem recently because there's so many good weapons now, right? And we have these new weapons coming out from Rise of the Beast, which I will be doing a video on when they come out. But due to all these new weapons, it's kind of hard. Like building pool, I feel it's a little bit harder than it used to be because you know you have all these options and stuff. All these options you didn't have back in the day. That's also why a lot of people have been opting out to get Magna Opus instead of Primal. Outside of the health, right? Magna Opus does give you more leeway with your pool if you're running Magna and if you're running Primal. Provided your Primal pool is decked out, right? You it wouldn't work it wouldn't really work if your your primal pool was not fully done. And I mean like full like, like whale, mega whale, orc orcish level of like money spent. So God, I love Anne. Her voice is so nice, bro. I really hope she gets a summer outfit or something. Or like at least a new outfit or something, new character. I know I'm biased, but I don't care. Oh right, he gets his fence up. We don't have the spell here though. Hmm. That's unfortunate. And no, oh, that's a 50% damage cut. Ooh. Or just like, no, that must be 100%, 100% defense up. I'm guessing. Or maybe, maybe more than that, I think. I think 100% defense is like 50% damage reduction. I forget the values, cause I don't really look at that too much. I should. But I don't really care that much. It, it doesn't really help you a lot. Like, it doesn't really make you play better or anything. So I really don't really pay attention to that too hard. Oh no, where's your multi attack at, broski? Where is you letting me down? Yo, hold up. We have Ultima multi attack. We have Minami. And then we have the double attack from the Ultima. And you telling me you still single attacking, bro? I said about Merc, to be honest. I said about the balls. I said took some Mercs. Cause they not multi attacking for anything, bro. Uh, this is, I really should have brought the spell. Hopefully, the, the, whenever they come out with a new spear character, they come with defense down, the spell, and I don't know what the third skill would be that I would like. But I kind of want the spear unit to like to cover areas. Also, Annie's a buff. Like and like her skill one. It's, it's, first of all, it's dispellable still. And I feel like the spellable in 2019 is so bad, dude. But then again, right? It's kind of weird, right? If every skill in the game becomes dispellable, I mean unspellable, then what's the point of being able to dispel something, right? That's like the that's why I don't like the whole spell mechanic or unspellable buff. Because then, then you get in this area where like you have like this privilege on certain skills over other skills, which I don't I really don't like. But if every skill becomes like the skills that are privileged, it kind of kills the mechanic. It's real. It's a really weird area to be in, in my opinion. So I, I really hope they like figure some way around that. I, I don't think they can though at this point. I really like Yai. I wish Yai was more accessible though. The fact that she's like only Christmas unit, it's kind of like you miss, a lot of people are missing out on this unit that just gives free damage for nothing. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Like, Hype is, such, Hype is like one of the strongest... Wow, see back again. But Hype is one of the strongest modifiers in the game. At, probably the strongest modifier in the game at level 4. So the fact that, you know, not everyone can have that for free is kind of uh, unfortunate. I believe that level 4 is a, is a flat 100% damage boost. I think it goes like 25. What well, would be 1.25, 1 then 1.50, then... 1.75 then 2.0 in terms of the multiplier so the, the fact that not everyone has access to this character is kind of unfortunate i usually i use her in a lot of my videos personally um i don't know if i should or not because not many people have her but i like bringing her it feels bad like how often do you really see your back row team like come out like you don't really see like very rarely did your back row ever come out in a game outside of like what ultimate muhammad high level so the fact like you really you're really looking for units that activate really well in the back row like oracles are a good example like i think that's why they made them because you know even if like the oracle is bad at the very least you can have a good sub ability even if they're bad though most of them are good units and that's what they're trying to do with the whole, uh, with, the, with that new mechanic we have, with the uh, Opus weapons. I forgot what they're, they're, they're called. I don't remember. Uh, I, I really forgot what they're called. The, the stack. Hmm. I don't remember the top of my head. But yeah, whatever the stacks come from the Opus, they're trying to make the back row more viable. Because they realize that, you know, generally the front three stays alive forever. Only if you make, like, very, very big mistakes do your front three ever die. Maybe one unit, if anything. It's not too often. Even more so at endgame rate. The only raid where your back row really matters is Ultimate Bahamut High Level, in my opinion. Every other raid doesn't really matter at all. Um, hopefully they never make a raid like Ultimate Bahamut High Level though. I real I don't like the whole swamp the team out. Unless you could pick. If I could pick what unit I swamp out, then that's okay. But randomly swamping out my units, ooh, I hate. Oh, I always hated that. <laughs> always, always, always. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know it's a lot of rambling. I've been rambling lately because there's not like a lot of new stuff going on. So I'm just looking at my old teams and just chilling. I also, as I mentioned, I am streaming a uh, cold steel the trials of cold steel on my twitch channel if you guys want to come watch that i don't believe i'll be doing any free to play uh far runs until after the new weapons come out because I, what i think is going to happen is that those weapons are going to help boost health i think for the magna pools so that magna can get into um far easier for right now some magnets like water magna has a really hard time getting that health so I, i'm guessing water at least going to get the health boost you can get the health on water easily it's not the problem it's like nobody who wants to farm mackie for those boozy fists in 2019 not many people but we'll we'll see how what happens with the weapons and i'll do a video on them and hopefully they're good for fa because i need them um i'll show you my the weapons right now on this account like, I have two accounts, you guys didn't know. I, I access to two accounts, so. Depending on the account, it's kind of iffy, I guess. When it comes to videos like that. So, it's like... Hold on. I, did, I already done... Um, I think I've done Light and Earth, right? So, when it's going to happen is just that when... When it's actually, I think, really hard without Monkey. Especially if you're the, you're the person that's going to um, join the raid. So I, I have to figure out how I'm gonna do wind. I'm probably gonna end up bringing Lena or something. I'll figure it out a little bit later. But yeah, I, wind is actually, I think wind is gonna be really hard, um, especially without monkey. So I'll figure it out. I don't know what character I'm gonna bring, but I, I'm most likely gonna rely on the GW characters, I think, in a, in a healer. Well, DW and Urius maybe. I think that'd be fine, but it's, it's gonna be hard. Um, Dark is rather simple actually. Dark, I have no problem with doing. I just haven't got around to it yet. It's just that water and fire. These two elements are the, the, the hardest. Because, like, the twigs are okay, right? Twigs, 
they do fine. Um, but I need magma twigs, so I don't really have a lot of those. So that's unfortunate. I'll figure it out on how I'm gonna do it. I just, I just need a weapon that boosts health. Uh, if I get a weapon that boosts health, then I can uh, have an easier time getting there. Water, water magna. Just like the, the harps are great. Don't get me wrong. The harps are really good for magna, but it's getting the health on magna. It's like that's the problem. Like I, the damage on water magna is actually not bad. In terms of like this ogi damage, it's not bad. Like doing your labor, perfectly fine. It's getting the damage, the health, and still keeping that damage. That's the hard part. So we'll see how it goes. I'll figure it out. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know I ramble, but as I mentioned, the game's going in a slow pace right now, so I'll be doing a lot more rambling over time. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.